Hi guys, Nick KK Folky. So a few videos ago I did a video about how you can adjust your DPI mouse settings. Okay. Now I should have gone a bit more in depth on how you can actually check that DPI number. Okay, so in this video, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over how you can check your actual DPI of your mouse. Okay, I'm gonna show you two ways, but first of all, before we get started, you need to disable uh, mouse acceleration in your mouse settings. So just go down to the bottom here and type in mouse settings. Okay, and this will come up here. Then you want to go over to additional mouse options, which is top right here. Click on that. Go over to pointer options, your third tab, and uncheck this. Okay, so leave that blank. Click apply. Click OK. Now the first one is going to be a little more tougher than the other one. But launch up paint, go down here, type paint, and it's there, desktop app, okay? And you want to do is, you want to make sure down the bottom right here, your zoom level is at 100, not 50, not 200, 100%, okay? You'll come over to the left of your screen here, and make sure down the bottom here, that reads zero. It might take a bit of fiddling. Okay, now you're going to move this about an inch, so grab a ruler or a tape measure, mark it down on a piece of paper and put it under your mouse, and you want to move it about an inch, or if you're good with numbers, you don't need anything, just do it straight off the bat, okay? So you find the zero, doesn't matter if you have it on one or two, the zero is the best, then just move your mouse an inch. Okay, let's try that again. It might take a couple of times to get it right, but just hang in there. As I said, this is the hardest bit. If you don't want to go on the internet, it's the best way to do it. Let's do it on one. All right, move the mouse an inch. Okay, and don't move the mouse. Remember, okay, now it's at, for my DPI, it's 1159. So what we do is we'll grab notepad. and just lob the number in there now what we want to do is we want to do this a few times to get an average okay so this time's on one for me move it an inch okay 1070 and that's how you do it in paint so another method you can check your dpi is let's come out of that Go to Google, okay, and then type in mouse sensitivity. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you can't be asked to go through Google. Click on the first link. This is such a great site if you're really into gaming and you want really precise mouse settings. You know, you want to go to DPI Analyzer. And before we do this one, you need to make sure your zoom on your web page is at 100%, 110%, And you just do the exact same thing here. For the target distance, you type in 1 inch, leave WPS, and then we'll do the same here. You just click on the red cross down here. Move your mouse an inch, hold the mouse button down and move it an inch. And then it will record your actual counts, like how many counts of DPI movements it makes, and then your actual DPI. So we'll lob that in there. 1147. Do it again. Hold it on the red cross. Move an inch. And one, two, five, one, two, five, one. Then you just grab the average from there. So mine's about 1,100. Your DPI settings vary, vary from time to time. It's, it's, it's not an exact science, and you've got proper science equipment to test your mouse, laser, and stuff like that. But hopefully this has cleared things up for you folks and you can now know your DPI. If you want to 
tweak it for in-game, you can go and come to the forums here. I don't own this site, I'm not getting paid or anything. Come to the forums, ask some questions. And then there's a calculator here where you can calculate it for each game. Okay, you just select your game from here. Battlefield 1, 4, etc. And then tweak everything here and it'll come up with the correct sensitivity that you need. I'm not really, I haven't really messed around with this yet, so I might, I might do another video with this, but I think they've got an instruction video on the front page of this, actually. Yeah, look, let's go back. Yeah, they've got instructions how to do it here, so it's a great site. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has helped you out finally. If it has, leave a comment down below. Click like and sub. I'm going to be doing a few game videos. Now I've got a new power supply. And I've still got to do a review on that. I've got plenty of videos to do for you all. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.